Hey everyone, Pushing Up Roses here, and today I have another abstract painting video for you guys. So a couple weeks ago, I started trying the swipe technique, which is when you lay down paint of a thinner consistency, you swipe a color over it, and like this, the other paint like pops up and it creates these amazing like, kind of cells and webbing. And I really wanted to do that, I wanted to try it. And I tried it a couple times with varying degrees of success, and then, Ooh, I made this! I was so excited uh, to have made this painting. So I initially was going to sell it and then I couldn't bring myself to part with it. I love almost every, let's see if I can get a close up, I love every detail in this painting. Um, let's try to get another close up. Extreme close up, whoa! Yeah, so I love every detail. Um, the only thing I didn't quite like is kind of how the yellow got pushed off of it, but um, overall, I really like this. And another thing that I wanted to try is, believe it or not, this looks like black, but it's actually really dark green. And what I've learned is the paints I'm using to do the swipe, which are the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint, they. <laughs> darken quite significantly. I mean, all paint kind of deepens after it dries, but this one significantly so, because that flat out looks black, and I know for a fact that um, it is dark green. So I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna try, that's what we're doing today. I'm going to try to recreate this amazing webbed heart so that, <laughs> so that I'll have one to sell and also one to keep for myself. So I bought these. Um, you can get these hearts at basically any hobby slash, um, uh, ooh, making a bunch of noise already. You can get these at any hobby store, craft store. You can get them at Michael's. Um, sometimes they're sold out, but they usually restock pretty quickly. And they're just heart shaped pieces of wood. This one I am going to experiment on again because it is damaged. As you can see, I don't I didn't notice because I just kind of picked up a stack of them and then went to the checkout, so I didn't even notice that it was had this weird... I don't even... What do you even think that thing is, you guys? I don't know what could have caused this damage, but considering I am experimenting, I'm just going to use this one and hope for the best. And if I create another really good one, I can sell the one that I already made and keep the damaged one to myself. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First things first, let's mix our paint. I'm going to be using four colors for this. Look at these tiny, tiny ass cups. Aren't they cute? I bought these at just the dollar store and um, the cashier. I bought like a ton of these cups because the last thing I need in my life is running out of cups. Am I right? So I went and bought like, I don't know, four packets of 30 cups or something like that and the cashier kind of like raised her eyebrow at me and I'm like it's for paints and she's like sure it is so I'm gonna go ahead and mix my paints I'm gonna speed this up a little bit and then we'll reconvene Okay, I have got my colors mixed now. Um, not that I had to do a lot of mixing because I'm using pretty simple colors, but we have just plain white, titanium white, uh, a little bit of the, what's this called? Sap green, not mixed with anything. And then sap green with just a little bit of black. I didn't want to make it too, too dark because like I said on the other one, it really darkened and it kind of looked bizarre after that. But here's the consistency if you're curious. I hope you can see that on camera. Let's see. It's really hard to show that on camera, but you know, it's pretty liquidy. It's pretty fluid. Um, I would normally, for other types of pores, for like ring pores and even just normal painting, I would want something a little thicker than this, but this works. And for the swipe technique. And then just, I think this is bright yellow. Yep, bright yellow. So these are the four colors that I'm using. I'm not going to be using black in this one. I'm like, <sighs> I'm, I'm kind of torn on this green because I definitely, 
I want it to be dark enough to see the, those straight kind of white webbing over it, but I don't want to be like, I don't want it to be so dark that, you know, no one can see like what's happening. Okay, so, or too light either. I don't want it to be either. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to lay down the paint. So I'm going to speed up this process as well. Enjoy the royalty free music or whatever I put here. I don't know if I'm going to cut or put music here, but enjoy. What it looks like right now. Perfect! Sold! So this is kind of the arrangement that I am going for with this one. We've got the dark and actually I'm gonna put a little bit more dark in the middle because I'm a perfectionist like that. A little bit more. I don't like wasting paint so I'm trying to, I'm trying to use all of it because the Artist Loft paints I don't use them for all of my paintings. I primarily only use them for swiping because they're fluid enough and they're thin enough that I can kind of do it um, without much trouble. Um, so I try, but they are on the expensive side, so I really try not to waste them if I can't, as she says, as she tilts a ton of paint off of her canvas. <laughs> No, we gotta paint, we gotta, we gotta do, we gotta tilt a little bit off of it. Just a little bit. I don't know if you guys are seeing this on camera, but look at that amazing swirl on my silicone mat right now. It's so pretty. I wish that, I wish I were kind of doing that now. All right, so yeah, but we do have to tilt just a little bit off. There we go. So that looks good to me. It, it's a little bit different than the composition I was using uh, on the other one, but hopefully this, this will also turn out. So before I go ahead and do the swipe, and I'm going to use white, titanium white is my swipe color. Um, I don't know how necessary this is, but I am going to put a little bit of silicone. This is the treadmill belt lubricant, the spot on. I don't know how necessary it is with the Artist Loft paints because I haven't tried it without yet, but I do put just one drop of silicone in the swipe color only. I just put in three. Well, hmm. hmm. <laughs> I haven't experimented with not using it. I think it would still work even if you used zero silicone, but I just want to encourage the cells and the webbing. So I'm just kind of mixing it in. I'm, I like to mix it in really, really well because um, silicone does tend to get oily, especially on your painting. So I do like to, uh, you know, there's a lot of debate for some reason. Abstract art is just so controversial, isn't it? So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my white and I will be right back. Okay guys, everything is applied. Don't worry about the air bubbles in there right now because um, I will be torching this. I know you could probably see some air bubbles in the middle there. I Probably because I whisked it a little bit um, when I was doing, when I was trying to um, stir the silicone in there, but don't worry about that. Um, let's go ahead and do our swipe. I am just using a plain paper towel. I have tried to use swipe tools before you know, like, like a scraper or like a plastic card, and I kind of always lo lose my nerve with holding them, and I start to shake and get really kind of wobbly, so um, I just went straight back into using paper towels, good old paper towels, and that seemed to work for me. So, let us watch the swipe. Ooh, that was a good first swipe. Um, a little heavy on the white over there, and honestly my second swipe will probably be even less over there, but I think that looks actually really, really good. Um, and you want to swipe slowly. 
You don't want to go too fast and lose your nerve like I did. All right, let's do the other half of the swipe. not bad at all as you can see I'm already getting some cell action up in here uh, which is really really awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and yeah I'll leave the heart the way it is I did kind of miss some stuff up here but I'm gonna try to not worry about it too much because the cells will grow so this is where you can kind of be a little creative um, I use torch you can also use a heat gun just to you know you want the torch to lightly hit the surface of the paint so that cells will pop up. I prefer, and I probably am in the minority here, I prefer small cells and webbing. I don't really like the big, round, perfect cells, especially when I'm doing these hearts, which I call my diseased heart series. So I don't like those. I'm going to try to go for kind of more webbing. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Let's hope that I don't mess up. Even if I mess up, this video is going up. So enjoy. All right, we seem to be getting some really cool cell action. I'm gonna wait just a second to see kind of how big. Some people like to tilt while kind of the cells are popping up to actually make them larger. I like to tilt just a little bit. Not too much because honestly, if you, ooh, that was, that was, uh, that <laughs> paint's moving fast. Um, you know, if you tilt too much, the cells will stretch over the side and I certainly don't want that. So you can tilt to kind of make them a little bit bigger, maybe to encourage more cell growth, but I don't really like doing that. I don't like stretching them. I would rather them be, I would rather them be kind of small and um, interesting looking than bigger and kind of wobbling, if that makes, if that makes sense. I'm gonna torch some more because I have no chill. Whoa, I definitely over torched that. <laughs> Will Sarah over torture painting? All signs point to yes. I can't help it, you guys. I just cannot help it. Um, also, I should probably say that you definitely want to be careful with torching wood or canvas, honestly. Um, wow, these cells are... These cells are tiny! Good lord! These cells are small AF. Um, hmm, <laughs> maybe I should tilt a little bit. Oh no, I wonder if that's because I went a little overboard. I'm gonna try to honestly tilt some of them off because look at how tiny some of my cells are. Yeep. I think I went overboard with the silicone. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see, but look how teeny tiny some of this webbing is. <laughs> oh no. Um, and I have noticed that, well, smudge that. I have noticed that um, with the Artist Loft paints, unlike other paints when you torch and add silicone, they don't grow much overnight. Um, I just dropped a glove on the floor. So yeah, they don't grow much overnight, um, meaning that this probably won't change, and at least not too much. I don't know, it's got some personality though, that's for sure. I am gonna try to <laughs> get them a little bigger though. These are, these are the tiniest cells I've ever like torched in some of my paintings. I, <laughs> they're usually, I mean, like I said, I do prefer them to be small, but they're usually not this small. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> that is not, 
That is not what I expected at all. Um, hmm. It's... It's interesting. Um, uh, maybe I over-torched, but I torched about just as much as I would torch uh, a normal painting, so I'm... I, I don't... I don't even know. Like, some places look amazing. Like, I'll give you guys a close-up here. Some things look utterly amazing. Like, I love some of this webbing. Um, but the really teeny, teeny, tiny webbing, I'm just... What? <laughs> what has happened? What? What happened to you? I think it's because when I was putting in my silicone, I accidentally added a million drops of silicone. Um, maybe I overstirred it as well. It, I spieled a lot about over stirring it, so maybe that was the problem. I'm not sure. Still working with, still working with it. I can see it kind of coming together now. I can see. Um, Kind of the more I tilt, just a little bit. I'm trying to tilt so carefully, you guys. But, you know, the painting, the painting is already starting to dry. So that is kind of a problem. Oh man, I was so excited to show you guys how I do this. And honestly, the only part, the only part that's bothering me is over here. I've got these little streaks of white and I don't know, maybe I just over torched those parts. Sorry if I'm getting close to the camera, you guys. I think that's probably as good as it's gonna get for this particular painting. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry that it didn't come out uh, the way that I thought that it would. Um, I am very confused. <laughs> Maybe you guys can tell me what went wrong. I'm sure I'll look back at this footage and be like, well, there's where it went wrong, was, um, you know, dropping in a million things of silicone and on accident, but it's still pretty cool, honestly. And when I go in and I'll usually put a frame, you know, I'll paint a frame around the sides and stuff. I think when I paint the frame on there, it'll look a little bit better as well. Can't put it down, can you, Sarah? just cannot put it down. These hard plaques are such a weird shape that um, sometimes they are hard to work with, sometimes they're harder to tilt. It, honestly, it's coming together though. I'm, I'm not hating it. Like I said, the only parts I really don't like are these little, these streaky parts on this side. And you probably saw that I put some extra paint on there. I didn't think I would have enough white. Maybe I had too much white, you know? Um, but yeah, if you, I don't know if you can see in the close-up, but they're not just smears of paint. They're actually teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny cells. So it's still kind of interesting to look at. <laughs> it just didn't quite go as planned. Good news is uh, I can no longer see the damage on the heart. The paint has really kind of leveled itself out in those damaged areas so that's that's really good that's really nice to know this was what i was going for this was my first run and i guess i was just having beginner's luck and this is what we ended up with not quite the same like i said there are parts about this painting that i really really like i love this webbing here i love the multicolors that when it hits the yellow the dark green to the light green to the yellow i like the webbing over the dark green. I'm also wondering if I just didn't use enough of the dark green. I wonder if I kind of wussed out because I, you know, because um, I didn't want to make it too dark. But we'll go ahead and see how this dries. It might dry amazingly, you know, it might be amazing, I don't know. I'm gonna let this dry overnight and I will post a picture of the dried version on this YouTube channel. Um, in the community section, so you can monitor it, see if it really changes, but I'm not totally unhappy with it. Uh, <laughs> it, is what, it is what it is, you know, and this, and this is what it is. Oh, and before I leave, you'll notice that this is kind of, I can't show you right now, but you'll notice that this is not flat on my silicone mat. It's actually uh, sitting on something, and I'll show you what I'm using. I am just using these giant, giant push pins that I just got on Amazon. Mine are already full of paint because I'm constantly using them. But yeah, I just kind of hammer the push pins underneath so I can just work directly on the mat. Uh, the mat is by 
Loli, Loli Vefe. It says over here, it can also be uh, Love Life. As always, I'll have a link to that in the description. I will also have a link to my coffee account, which I will take tips um, on this channel, but no obligation, of course, if you're just here to enjoy me messing up some art, you're in the right place. Or if you want to give me money to make up for this expensive page, you can also do that too. Anyway, I'm going to stop touching it. Stop touching it, Sarah. Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!